I'm Jackie Blaze, and today I'm going to take you traveling from the comfort of my own kitchen to a place called Macedonia. And if you're wondering where Macedonia is, it's in the eastern part of Europe, and it's where my heritage is from. So I'm going to cook a traditional cabbage dish that includes lots of vegetables and lots of things from the ground that are going to give us all the vitamins that we need for a healthy lifestyle. So um, let's get started. As you can tell, we're not putting too much emphasis on it being too fine or too chunky. We're just having fun. We're really going to add love to this recipe. Now, I've traveled to many parts of the world, including Monaco, the south of France, Australia, where I'm from, Canada, Asia. And uh, the reason that I chose to do a Macedonian dish today is that every time I go there, because my heritage is from there, I feel a certain connection. And um, I've invited some friends, and this recipe in particular, because it includes so many vegetables, I'm going to do the celery next, and again, we're going to just chop it up roughly and add some love into it, uh, just like so. So not too chunky, not too fine, but just adding some love into it. Um, I really want you to just have fun while you're doing this. Potatoes and the carrots, and um, maybe we should call this the Macedonia love feast because there's so many different ingredients going in here. Now, Macedonia is a country of about two million people. It's um, it's also known as a third world country because um, there's not a lot of wealth in there. Um, in goes the onion here, and as you can tell, that's that's also chunky. Now, this recipe is great because not only is it healthy. It's also relatively inexpensive, and most people in Macedonia grow these things, even in the city, in their front yard. So now we have the cabbage, which is going to get chopped up again in chunks, and we have um, two potatoes before we put in the water and the pasta, and then off we go. So Macedonia Love Feast, what do you guys think about it? We're going to think about a couple more names and get back to you. So as you can tell, we have a big pot because we have a lot of things going in there, so we need some... And all of this will condense and shrink and, you know, there'll be space in there because we're also going to put some water in. So we're going to put everything in here. And as you can tell, it's all around medium, chunky size. And um, it all goes in there. We're going to add some water and get it on the stove. So we're adding our last ingredients, our potatoes, which are chunky. And um, then we're going to add the pasta in. Now, this is a Macedonian cabbage stew. And we said that we're going to come up with a name. So um, I think Macedonian cabbage stew sounds a little bit boring. So, Stubi Masu, maybe? I don't know. What do you think? Tweet us. Our pasta is going in. And we're going to add the water. We're going to add some more water. Now, if you have too much cabbage, don't threat. You can also pull the cabbage off and add add it onto the stew as as uh, ingredients cook down. So um, don't worry about it. There's always a solution. I hope you've had fun and thank you for watching. We're going to show you the final product as we get it. And voila! Because 25 minutes later, it is ready to be served up and enjoyed. I'm going to try it right now before I serve it to my friends. Um, just don't forget to add some red pepper halfway through the cooking process. Bye for now. I'm still Jackie Blaze, and thanks for watching.